Hey guys, today I'm back with another foundation review. I'm reviewing a brand new powder foundation from Fenty. Super exciting. I've reviewed the hydrating and the liquid twice actually. I reviewed the liquid in two different shades, so I will have those linked down below. As always, I'll be doing flash photo before and after, how it looks in natural light, show you how it looks at the end of the day. Hopefully we'll give you a good idea if you want to purchase this for yourself. Uh, I will have timestamps down below too if you want to skip ahead because I probably talk too much. Otherwise, I think that's everything. If you enjoy foundation reviews, be sure to subscribe, but let's go ahead and get started. So I've already gone ahead and primed my face. I used the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. She has three different primers, I think. I reviewed two of them side by side if you want to check those out. Um, but for the actual powder foundation itself, if you haven't seen it yet, this is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation. I'm going to be wearing the shade 320. I did previously wear 310. That's definitely more on the yellow side. 320 has a little more peachy goldenness in it. That being said, though, like in the kind of... In the packaging it looks quite light by comparison but I, I believe it's a good shade match for me you're getting 9.1 grams of product in here which is really not that much when it comes to powder foundations if you compare it to like mac studio fix you get 15 grams in there uh, obviously very different brand you know whatever but uh, that is not a ton for a powder foundation and this retails for 47 dollars canadian a little bit less American. That amount has lost me. <laughs> uh, and if you are not familiar, of course, Fenty comes in a ton of shades. I believe this still comes in the 40 shades. Today, I'm gonna use my e.l.f. powder brush. That is my favorite for applying foundation. I am, however, gonna put on just a little bit of concealer, set the concealer under my eyes, and then I'll put on the powder foundation. So one second. Okay, nothing fancy, just a little concealer and powder under my eyes. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. powder brush as I mentioned. I would say the e.l.f. powder brush and the Real Techniques buffing brush are probably my favorite brushes for powder foundation. I've reviewed lots of powder foundations. I would say if I had to pick my favorites, the MAC Studio Fix, although I haven't worn MAC Studio Fix in a while, but that was always one of my favorites. I've run through many of those. And then the Too Faced Worn This Way are my two favorite powder foundations that I wear as powder foundations. I have other powder foundations, for example, like the NYX, which for some reason works to set my face but is a nightmare as a powder foundation. <laughs> um, but this powder foundation claims to be matte, uh, light to full coverage depending on how much you build it up. Um, Fenty is a cruelty-free brand, they're vegan as well. I don't, like, I mean I guess it kind of depends, like if you use, I would say if you, hmm, if I use this I'll probably get quite a bit more coverage. But honestly, I'm not looking for a ton of coverage. If I wanted, if I want actual full coverage, like, I'm just going to use a liquid. I don't really compare the full, the full of powder to the full of liquid, if that makes sense. Maybe I'm just talking nonsense as usual. It's probably about where I'm going to build it up, so nothing, something. You can see it looks soft, it looks matte, probably about a medium coverage, bridge. I'll let you see it go over here. I've got this kind of bigger pimple down here. You can see how it covers. It does blend nicely. It does build nicely. I think you can get light to medium. I have also been using this to set my face like over. It works well over um, liquids as well. I'm definitely getting a lot of powder everywhere though. I actually have a friend who <laughs> is a YouTuber. <laughs> I won't name her because I don't know if she plans on reviewing it, but she hated this. <laughs> hated it and like it went really awry on her. I haven't watched any reviews so I, I don't know how people are feeling about it. But to be honest, in general, I feel like people don't give bad reviews to Fenty. Which I think is kind of a shame, like not saying that people should give bad reviews, I think almost everything they've come out with has been amazing, but I think people are afraid to say anything negative about Fenty, I guess is what I should say. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's kind of what it feels like. They've done very little wrong, they've done a few things, of course. but. Uh, you know, they've done way more good than bad. <laughs> Changed the industry, actually. Everybody else was like, uh, we have 40 shades. And if they didn't have 40 shades, like, we have 40 shades now. Or they're trying. Okay, I'm back with the rest of my makeup on. Everything I'm wearing will be listed down below. Quick shout out, completely unrelated to the Maybelline, new Maybelline mascara. <laughs> Lash Sensational Sky High. High, hard, phew, hard to say, but holy sky high. They were right on that. Anyways, back to the foundation. 
I have something weird going on with my skin. It's a little bit flaky, which is new for me. Um, and this powder foundation definitely is not helping, like areas around my nose and, and around my eyes that are kind of looking a little bit drier definitely like I had to like put even a little bit of extra primer a little hydrating extra primer there so I definitely right off the bat do not think this is something that people with dry skin will enjoy that's not to say that people with dry skin can't enjoy powder foundations there's some really like beautiful creamy ones out there not that this hmm, I'm bouncing back and forth here it's not that this one isn't it's just better suited for oilier skin I think for sure but the coverage is nice I think it looks good the uh, shade match is quite good as well, so I do like the way it looks, but it's um, definitely not looking its best, especially with my skin being a little bit on the flaky side right now. Um, in the flash photos, however, I do think that uh, it looks good here in my studio lighting, in my dark bathroom. There is a little bit of a flashback that's not super, super um, unexpected, but it's kind of on account of having that on my face with no bronzer or anything like I think it would look a lot better in photos like it's not a huge difference between my face and my neck and this doesn't have as much warmth as my body this actual color of the foundation and the flash really picks up the white so you know it's it's doing okay so far but <laughs> I will check back with you in a couple of hours in some natural light Hello, coming to you in some natural light, not a ton of natural light actually, it's not very bright out today, but just doing a little bit of a check-in. I was just uh, watching the American inauguration, wow, uh, what a day, but um, you okay? Anyone else have cats that are so lazy that you need to wake them up and put them in front of their food so that they eat? Just you? Lazy bones? Anyways, that was a little bit off track, but yeah, things look uh, good. It's worn off a little bit. I was wearing a mask just then for like 10 minutes, had to put out some recycling and a couple of things. Uh, I definitely prefer this when I use a setting spray. I like the way it looks when my oils come through, but that takes a little bit of time. So putting on a setting spray kind of melds everything into the skin more. I did skip that today for the review. Um, it's worn off a little bit, probably in the center doesn't look doesn't look amazing I'll say that but um, doesn't look bad either uh, I will check back with you in a couple of hours hello I'm back it is the end of the day and things look really good um, I was just like taking a kind of a close-up look at my face because I shed a couple tears today it is um, inauguration day in the US <laughs> uh, and it's about to be that time of the month the combination of the two but I don't even have any tear marks on my face I wasn't crying but there was some tears so it looks good. Uh, like I said, I did lose a little bit of coverage. I've got this pimple popping through, but considering I didn't use a setting spray and I spent a lot of the day kind of like this, because I'm editing and just watching TikTok, etc. Uh, I think it held up pretty well. I don't feel like it oxidized. The shade match looks really good to me. It doesn't look cakey or heavy. I definitely think this is the type of thing that's quite matte. If you have dry skin, dry patches, it's not particularly friendly to that. It does go a little bit better as the day goes on, as the oils poke through, but the early stages definitely looked pretty dry. So a setting spray for me, it was normally how I combated that, but I left it out today just for wear test purposes. I do, um, I did realize I forgot to talk to you about flash photos, which I don't, no, I did talk to you about flash photos. Never mind. I didn't forget to talk to you about it. Overall, I do really like this foundation. If you have oily skin, I think it's a nice one. If you have combo or normal, you could probably use it to set your face. Otherwise, I think it would be too matte, but I think it's good. I'm glad that there's a nice big shader engine there. Always happy to support Fenty. Will I use it over my Too Faced? Maybe not, but I still think it's a pretty good one. Um, yeah, I think I covered everything. So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at SamanthaJNYT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!